Breaking tonight, more than 2,000 fetal remains found after the death of a well-known abortion doctor. CBS 2's Dana Kosloff is at the Will County Coroner's Office where those remains are now. Dana. Eric and Brad, we believe the fetal remains are here. We're taken here to the Will County Coroner's Office sometime in the last 24 hours, but they were not discovered until days after the controversial abortion doctor's death. So you don't think you did anything wrong? No. This is Dr. Ulrich Klopfer in 2014 heading into an Indiana court hearing. He was charged with failing to report an abortion he'd performed on a 13-year-old girl in the three days required by law. The Will County coroner says Klopfer died September 3rd. But Thursday, a family attorney called the coroner, telling him 2,246 medically preserved fetal remains were found on Klopfer's property in unincorporated Will County. County. This house in Crete is listed in Klopfer's name, but we have not confirmed it's where the fetal remains were found or where they were stored. At one time, Klopfer had three abortion clinics in Indiana. His license was ultimately suspended three years ago. All throughout, he'd said he'd done nothing wrong. We're all human beings. We all make mistakes and we have to deal with the consequences, okay? Klopfer's family is cooperating. Will County authorities say there's no evidence any medical procedures were performed on the doctor's property. A Will County spokesperson says they'll have more information on this matter when appropriate, so there are still a lot of questions. What was the doctor doing with those more than 2,000 fetal remains? How long had they been there? How were they being stored? We do know that the Will County Sheriff's Department is investigating. Live in Joliet, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Brad and Erica. Dana, thank you.